It's Friday, it's Friday. You know what time it is, family. It's Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And the word that I want to share with you all on this weekend is coming out of Matthew 7 and 4. And the title of this is, Why Do You Look at the Speck? Yes, it's a, it's a question. Why do you look at the speck? So let's hear what the word says. Amen. How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? And this word speaks emphatically for a lot of us because there's so many of us that think our stuff don't stink. There's so many of us that think that what we say is always right. And there's so many of us that think that our way is the only way. And as a matter of fact, it's the best way. Amen and hallelujah. So let's hear what this story has to share for us. Amen. Jesus gives us an important reminder here. How quick can it be to look outward and criticize others instead of looking inward to see our own faults? Some examples of this are when we refer to today as conscious or unconscious bias. We tend to like the things that are, we are familiar with and we tend not to like the things that are different. Amen and hallelujah. And these things have a way of shaping our judgments about others. Wouldn't you agree? We also tend to think that others would be happier if they were just like us. But we don't take the time to think about what uh, what, what that really says about us. We got to understand that, you know, we ain't all that in a bag of chips. We we we're not perfect. We going to mess up sometimes. And as a matter of fact, a lot of us just need to understand how to just stay in our own lane. Amen and hallelujah. Help me somebody. Jesus wants us to look inwardly and see what our own issues are before we address or try to address the issues of others. It's not easy to admit that sometimes we get it wrong, but sometimes we have to admit that we're not perfect and we have a a new appreciation for others. And it's easier when we come to the realization that we're not perfect. It's so much easier to show God's grace and to show God's love. Amen and hallelujah. So I wonder if we take this approach of of showing God's grace and God's love, I wonder what our conversations might look like if we took the time to talk with one another, hear each other's stories, learn to care for one another, and discover that we might not be so different after all. I'm trying to share with you, at the end of the day, all of us have blood on the inside of us and all of our blood is red. So we're not so much different from one person to the other. Amen and hallelujah. So today, on this day, today, moving forward, is a good day to try clearing our own faults out of our own lives. Amen and hallelujah. Again, as my mother would say, just stay in your lane. Just be the best that you can be. Be the best person that you can be and stay in your lane and let God be God and just you go out and be you. Amen and hallelujah. Help me somebody. So with this word, I want you to share this word with someone. We we're in a world now where we all think that, you know, we got it going on that that I want everybody to understand one thing that all of us are just one paycheck away from being broke. So none of us have made it. None of us have arrived and none of us are, are all of that. We're all just one paycheck from being broke. So share this word with someone. Uh, it's humbling. Share this word with someone you can share on our on our page uh, as at TCC Arizona, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Share our word on your social media platform, amen? So I'll leave with you as I always leave with you that I love you, I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I want you to know that God loves you so, so, so much more. So go out and have a most favored weekend.